We are going on a holiday food crawl here at Disney Springs and checking out the holiday tree stroll. <laughs> Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies and we're back at Disney Springs. It's our favorite time of year here. They have so many holiday treats and I honestly think a lot of them are a lot more elevated than the ones that you can find at the park, Sam, because they're all the different vendors that are here. So they kind of want to impress, you know? Yeah, and Jock Lindsay's last year, we loved their holiday menu. So we're definitely going to try to get in there. Yeah. I think we might start off with Jock Lindsay's. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar becomes Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar during this season. They have so many cool festive eats. They have like uh, deviled eggs that kind of look like uh, different uh, the ornaments. The Nordier Nice deviled eggs. Yeah, Nordier. Yes, they did bring those back. Yeah. And they uh, also have like these ham and cheese, like Christmas trees. Yeah, also Polite Pig just released a brand new hot open turkey sandwich, right? Yeah. It's like the flavor of Thanksgiving to Christmas, those like turkey sandwiches. And Polite Pig, such a high quality meal. Uh, you're gonna find such great savory food here. There's also stuff probably won't even be able to fit in here, like um, over um, at Everglazed, they have donuts. Holiday donuts. Yeah. Ganachery. Uh, yeah. Amaretz. Uh, yeah. We might go to Amaretz, and we'll probably also go to Swirls in the Water because they have a pistachio uh, flavored ice cream kind of holiday treat. So we want to be able to try that out. We're also going to be checking out the holiday tree stroll. Now it used to be the tree trail. It used to be all in one spot in Disney Springs. Now they are separated, right? I get like triggered by this topic <laughs> because I hate. Well, it's hard I to find all of them. I hate is such a strong word. Yeah. Just it being all over their place. It's hard to find every and single I one, but it is fun. The trail was so cool. It's not they easier. Were all in one spot. Yeah. But they want you to walk around Disney Springs and spend more of your money. So you gotta really go on a hunt. It makes for those well, trees. It, it it is a nice little Easter egg every time you're somewhere. Like Bo's candles just opened. They actually invited Sam out. Yeah. Sam actually made a candle. Um, and right next to Bose, they have the Guardians of the Galaxy tree that we've already seen. Um, they also have another tree right over there. Maybe go check out. And right across from Bose is the Summer House on the Lake, the new restaurant that's opening. And two days ago when I was here, yeah. the walls were still up, and now they're down. And yeah, it looks it's right behind us. It looks really beautiful. It's set opening 2023. I'm wondering if they're pushing in 2024, but I mean, it looks pretty set. So it like opens tomorrow. <laughs> that would be our luck. Yeah. Well, I, I would love to go tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you hungry? I'm hungry. If you're ready, I'm ready. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our holiday food crawl here at Disney Springs. Right in front of the Candy Cauldron is the Disney Plus uh, tree. It says Seasons Streamings. They gotta promote their products. Of course. They have the Santa Clauses on there and uh, it's very sparkly. All right, so we were heading to the landing over to get to Jock Lindsay's and we found the Disney Vacation Club tree. Another uh, self-promotional decoration. Oh, I like it. So, I, I mean, the funny. Vacation Club members, like, they pay a good amount. Is this like, going to be the new cabins at Fort Wilderness? Oh, yes, you're right. This is the new cabins at Fort Wilderness. You can see uh, there's going to be a new, uh, new Polynesian tower that'll be DVC. A lot of good little Easter eggs in here. As we were passing Marie and Enzo's, we wanted to bring up, they do have a breakfast with Santa here. It is pretty pricey, right, Sam? Yeah, for adults it's $69 plus tax and gratuity, but it does include Prosecco mimosas. So I think that's where, that's where for the getcha. Yeah, if you want to see us do this, uh, let us know in the comments. All right, we've made it to Jock Lindsay's Holiday Hangar Bar. I always love the entrance to this. You can see the holidays right at the front. You can see they have two reefs. They have the tinsel. Right as you walk in, there's like a bomb shelter in the back. But it's all tinsel around it, all interiorly decorated. And we got two of their new items. This one is the pigs in the blanket, right, Sam? Uh, these are Jock's famous pigs in a blanket. Uh, so they're in puff pastry and they're served with cranberry mustard. All right, so these look very good. And if you guys want to see us go more in depth on just this place, honestly, last year, Sam, this was my favorite holiday menu that we had. Oh, yeah, yeah. It it's was very so elevated. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, so th what tip is this? It's cranberry mustard. Cranberry mustard. Okay. I feel like I do like a spicy mustard though with my hot dogs, but... The cranberry adds like a little tartness to the mustard. It's so good. The pastry is so deliciously flaky. The little hot dogs are very high quality meat. It's very good. Everything, I've, I've never had anything here that I didn't enjoy. Yeah, last year we had, remember we had like the venison sliders? Yeah. 
Um, we didn't even get like, there's more holiday stuff you can have. They have the um, holiday milk and cookies you can get um, with Cojito. Right? I'm not saying that right, right? That was so good. Uh, we also got another new option that we'll go over in a little bit, but these are delicious. Like elevated pigs in a blanket. So good. And you were on the fence about that. And I was like, no, I gotta get yeah. it. Cranberry is delicious. Adds the right amount of like tartness to this. I'm gonna give these a nine. Like I can't imagine a much better pigs in the blanket. Um, it's pigs in the blanket, so you gotta rate on pigs in the blanket scale. But everything is really good. The pastry, the cranberry, the hot skillet that it comes in. Uh, delicious. Green. Yeah. All right. So the next item that we got are the ham and cheese trees. These come with like a little show. Oh, ham and cheese. Oh. Of, oh, ham and cheese. Oh, oh ham and cheese. cheese. I, I would sing that. I would carol that. Comes a little show. It smokes when they bring it out to you. It actually comes on like an oak log, it looks like. Reminds yeah. me of uh, Dollywood. Their presentation is always on point here. Yeah. These are puff pastry, pit ham, cheddar cheese, garlic herb butter, and sugar plum jam. So that's the jam that's right there in the center. Is it a little cheese star? I feel like I want every like ham and cheese to like, look like this now. Cheese is a star. You're starting with a thing with a block of cheese. Can't go wrong with block of cheese. This is perfection. It's so good. It's so garlicky and cheesy and flaky. I gotta get more into the ham. Look at that. Got a nice cheese pull on there. Yeah, try some of that sauce. Oh yeah. Oh, so this is a sugar plum sauce. Yeah. We had sugar plum last year. It takes a lot of, like potpourri. I kind of digged it, but I know other people didn't. It's good. It's sweet. It goes really good with the ham. It really good with the pastry. Like the pastry absorbs all that sugar plum. The pastry is like the best part. It's so garlicky and perfect. These are great. And presentation, I think I'm gonna give this a nine too. Wow. It's pit ham, so they like remove the fat from it. It's nice and crispy, but like these, just so, so good. All right, so we also got two of our favorite items from last year. These are the nice eggs. You have an option of naughty or nice. And Sam, what are in these? Okay, so these are deviled eggs with crispy ham, and because we chose nice, we have a sweet honey glazed. If you get the naughty, you get a spicy honey glaze. You can see they're colored like ornaments. Red, green, and then white at the bottom. I don't think the white ones are colored, but... <laughs> I was gonna say it was. Also, I feel like last year they were like, it was smaller bits of ham. Yeah, no, we got some being... thicker ham. I feel like we also got four, and it comes on like an airplane. I like played with this before when you were like <laughs> taking videos of it. I knew we ate all in one bite. I think it's the only way to do it, in my opinion. The ham is so good. The ham tastes just like a, like a honey baked ham. Like, it's so sweet. And it's such a big piece. And the egg is so creamy. It just like complements that fatty piece of ham. So I still, I still love these. I'm gonna give them an eight. Sounds amazing. I mean, I'm looking forward to what I'm about to have because I think I gave it a 10 last year. All right, so these are the turkey croquettes, right? Here we come a croquetting. So what's in this, Sam? This is sweet potato puree, bacon, <laughs> cranberry jam, turkey gravy, <laughs> and herbed gremolata. Probably saying that wrong. I don't remember it coming, the gravy coming in a little... I remember mid tiny. I you remember it being in a tiny can? I, I feel like I'd remember that cute I can. I don't trust myself to remember anything, to be honest. Okay. I do remember giving these a 10, I think. This is the kind of food that should have been at Jollywood Nights. Like, this is what you, I think of. So good. Everything is, is honestly the really good. Inside the croquette. There's a very light, uh, like, sweetness with the cranberry um, and with the sweet potato. It tastes like Thanksgiving is in like my mouth. It's in a Thanksgiving explosion. Last year they were a bit warmer. I think we just got a better prepared dish. Um, I would still put this at a nine. Like to me, this is like a must get. Like every year I look forward to getting this. Um, and I think so far like the two top, like top things that I had were the 
ham and uh, cheese. Also, I don't feel like there was cheddar in those. It didn't taste like cheddar in the ham and cheese. Yeah, well, the top part, the star wasn't cheddar. Definitely the wasn't cheddar. It was cheddar. The top uh, star was... Um, it was a little bit spicy, but it was really good. It was pepper jack cheese. Uh, but these, so good, yeah. Get, if you come here, get these, and you're right, this is what Jolly Wood Night's food should be. This menu, to me, is the best holiday food menu in Disney World that I've had. Like, if you come to Disney World during the holidays and you're looking for, like, holiday food, this is the place I would go to. And it's like a walk-in. Like, you can't make a reservation here. Everything is so good. All right, on to Polite Pig. They have a traveling piano player out here playing music right in front of Polite Pig. mashed potatoes, cornbread stuffing, turkey gravy, and cranberry chutney. Third time we're having cranberry chutney. Yeah, cranberry chutney is like the flavor of the season at this point. So it's on Texas toast. You can see the flavors back there. It is pretty expensive. It was, yeah, I think it's 24 before tax. Uh, you can get a pass holder discount here, but I mean, it is a lot of food and we are, we are yeah, taking it home. You can just put this, you and me, and it would be like a good meal. We're probably gonna get a box and take this home because we've already eaten so much. Just get, eat John Lindsay's, you know, it's just so good. Everything you would imagine it to be in more. The turkey is very smoky. So if you're not a fan of smoky flavors, this may not be for you. But I do like a little bit of smoke. And the, I mean, who doesn't like stuffing, right? It's cornbread stuffing. Yeah. Oh wow, look at, look at it too, you can see. It's got more of that yellowish hue to it. And look at all that. Oh man. It's so nice, all the live music here. Very good. I can imagine like an open face turkey sandwich being much better, you know? Very carby though too. But very filling. So you, can, you know, you can share this with this between two people. I'm gonna go eight. I think eight sums this up. Probably not my favorite thing here, but everything here is consistently good. Probably my, this is my favorite. And I feel like they have a really great staff here. Yeah. My favorite quick service restaurant in spring is Polite Pig. Very good. You head right out of Polite Pig, you'll see World of Disney, and right before that is Amaretz. But I see two more trees over here, so let's see how they look. Now, this is the Princess and the Frog tree. So you can see they have some of Tiana's cooking right over there. Oh, look, my dream wouldn't be complete without you in it. Very sweet. <laughs> they also have the frozen tree over here. Makes sense having it right outside the world of Disney. I think last year you could find an Elsa's hand sticking out. I don't see that this year. Now I see ice skates, carrots. Oh wait, I see your hand. I found it. It's right there. Right, top right. Rob, type, top kind of left, you're facing the world of Disney. All right, let's hit into Amaretz. Now they have a lot of different holiday food here. This is the Holiday Sweets Petite Cake. So cute. $22. They have a cookies and cream eclair, a Christmas tree puff. They also have a gingerbread cheesecake back there. They have these Mickey gingerbread cookies and a hot cocoa creme brulee. All right, so we got the cookies and milk eclair and I got the gingerbread cookies. Uh, so the gingerbread cookies come with a mini cookie that has M&Ms on it and just a Mickey cookie that has some chocolate and a little leaf or mistletoe. Little gift tag. Yeah, this one looks like a present. Let's see how this is, Sam. I hope this doesn't stain my teeth. I think Santa would be happy with this. Like, I'm happy with this. It's kind of like a, a dense filling. It's not like typically what you would have in a, a typical cream that would kind of yeah, like, like mush apart. Usually like it's more like liquidy like eclairs but it's more dense and there's chocolate chips. It's good. Just ate the bow. Is the bow like fondant or? Chocolate. Mm. I like it. I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh, a seven. Wow. That's pretty good. Amaretz usually hits. I'm just gonna try the Mickey one because I want to get a more taste of the gingerbread cookie. But this is how the mini one looks. Uh, yeah, they come in sexist. Very soft. I had to go for a shop here. We haven't visited any of the gingerbread houses or displays yet. We gotta do that. We'll have a video on those. It's just been hard with. Eventually. Them. <laughs>
There's just been so much going on. It's very soft. True gingerbread cookie. Here, Sam, you want to try a little bit? It's good. It's not super sweet. You got that ginger spice. The chocolate ears are the best. Obviously, the ears are the best part. There's that little mistletoe. Mistletoe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very good. I give this a, I give this an eight because I feel it's high quality, like a high quality cookie. Not I mean, sweet. everything in Amaretz is. Yeah. Except for the cappuccino because I did get a cappuccino. I'm not impressed well, with it. Very small cappuccino. It's so tiny and it's really yeah. like unimpressive. If you want to get coffee, it's probably not the best stuff because you're not going to get a lot of coffee. But it's good, and I'm happy it comes in a bag so we can like I can take a bite and then take it home because we are eating a lot of food today. We are. On our way to Swirls in the Water, right outside the Lego store is the Cocoa Tree. All different Cocoa theming, like it's family, guitar. Very nice. Right outside BB Wolf's Sausage Company and right for the bridge to Swirls in the Water is the Star Wars Tree. You can see a little Jawa right in there. Obviously, some First Order Stormtrooper helmets. And adorning the top of the tree is C-3PO. He is a god to the Ewoks, so it makes sense. <laughs> they have a moving tree wishing everyone a Merry Christmas running down Disney Springs. All right, so swirls on the water right across from that big volcano rainforest cafe and right over the bridge here at Disney Springs. Uh, we got the frozen hot chocolate non-alcoholic float. Last year, Sam, do you remember this came with strawberry, I believe, Dole Whip? Or pink Dole Whip, I believe, right? Peppermint. Wasn't peppermint, it peppermint? Sorry, peppermint? This is a salted caramel. Ooh, okay, so it's a little different this year. They have an alcoholic and non-alcoholic one. We were going to get the Christmas tree Sunday, but unfortunately, they're always out of something here, I feel like. They didn't have the Christmas lights. Like, so on. then it just would have been a pistachio mm -hmm. Sunday, so we didn't get it. And the thing about Dole Whip like this, it's not as creamy as normal ice cream, I feel like. It's more icy. Starting to get a good mix. Playing date room. Now, Sam, you remember last year, I kept going to come back here just for the frozen hot chocolate, right? I feel like we did come back for it. Yeah. For a few times off camera. I love frozen hot chocolate. I love like chocolate specials. Love the texture, the flavor. Very good. Has that little tartness, but salted caramel and chocolate, I feel like, always go very well together, right? Right. Uh, very good. Swirls in the Water is a classic here at Disney Springs. Close, very long lines, which is why they're always out of stuff, I feel like. This is good. Uh, I'm conflicted I want to give it as a number. It's not super high quality, but it meets my flavor profile. So I think I'm going to go seven with this. What do you think? I haven't had it, so. But do you think it, like, well, what I said? Yes. Cool. I think I'm going to like it more than you, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you like salted caramel a lot. All right, we're done eating. Uh, we're on our way out, but let's see if maybe we find a few more trees on our way. I think we found like eight so far, right? We also saw one speeding past us. <laughs> not only are they not in a trail anymore, but now they literally run away from you. I love it. <laughs> right outside Earl of Sandwich and What's Upon a Toy, they have the Once Upon a Toy tree. Obviously filled with a lot of toys. Right in front of AMC and Planet Hollywood, they actually have three trees. The first one we're looking at over here is the annual pass holder tree. Pays homage to the pass holders. And as we walk down just a little bit further, we see the haunted mansion tree. You can see the floating candelabra. The bride is sitting there right in the tree. This is probably my favorite tree every single year. And they have a crow right up there at the top. This tree is new this year. It pays homage to Wish, the brand new movie premiering in theaters this week. I'm not gonna be able to know what any of these Easter eggs are because I haven't seen the film yet. But I'm assuming if you see the movie right over here at AMC, you could probably come back and catch all the little Easter eggs that are in this tree. All right, so that does it for our time checking out the Christmas tree stroll and the holiday food here at Disney Springs. I think we got all the trees. I don't know. Like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't know how many there are, but he I think we got all of them. He's like, I can't keep track. Like, if I see them, I see them. We got a lot of trees, so nice we pretty much got the whole stroll. And they were all in one spot. Then I knew I saw them all. Now, I don't know. Yeah, well, I let you guys know where you can find a specific tree if you wanted to find them. I do want to say that my favorite thing that I ate this entire crawl is, do you know? You're going to say the croquettes again? The croquettes. So I'm going to say the ham and cheese trees. Yes, so I, I do think Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar, to me, has the best holiday menu in all of Walt Disney World. Uh, everyone's opinions are different. I just think that the food is festive. They have great savory options. The flavors highlight some classic holiday or Thanksgiving based flavors. It's in a really nicely and uh, well-lit, well-themed environment. Uh, so Jock Lindsay's 
for to me wins the day but everything was really good polite pig was really good yeah amaranth was really good yeah it even swirls on the water like that frozen hot cocoa was probably one of my favorite things and that's not saying it's like particularly high quality just i love a nice icy frozen hot chocolate. You used to, I think you brought up chocolate merinos. Yeah, it reminds me of like a chocolate Italian ice. Yeah, if you like crush it up and turn it into like a slushy. Yeah. I, to me, it's very good. Um, I get nostalgic when I have it every single year. We had a lot of fun today. Yeah, Disney Springs was very lively today. Yeah. Like so much entertainment, roaming trees, roaming pianos. We even saw elves. I don't think we got it on camera. I do think that the um, Disney Springs atmosphere is probably better, or the street atmosphere is better than most or not any of the parks right now. Uh, it's it's very packed, but the street atmosphere kind of makes up for it. That roaming tree just adds a bit of liveliness to the atmosphere. Ooh, the guy in the piano spinning around. dangerous though, that tree. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out to the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't count the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. All right, surprise, surprise. We have <gasps> one more review for you guys. It's the chocolate bread. No, sorry, the pumpkin bread chocolate crumb cookie. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to get this because of how long the Gideon's line is, but they called us right as we finished the vlog. Look at that. And obviously we're home because you could hear. Yeah, yeah Frank. Franklin! <laughs> he won't take his eyes off of it. All right, let me try it out. Now my favorite Gideon's cookie is the chocolate coffee cookie, the nighttime one. The coffee cake? Mm hmm And yours is the banana bread, right? Yes. This is so good, Zem. I would give this a nine. Um, I wish I had it all year round. Great to have it for the season. We didn't include it because it's definitely not a holiday offering, but we figured throwing it at the end. And also, when this video comes out, it'll be Thanksgiving. So, yes. happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We're very, very thankful yes, for you thankful. guys. Yeah, thankful for all of you that watch. So, have a great one and a happy holiday season.